says we're live. Okay. The first one looked like it went. The first one looked like it actually recorded and posted. So um, one more before I take off the makeup. And uh, I actually have a topic. Okay. And the topic is my hair. It's like, why is it? Okay. There we go. Um, mm -hmm. um, okay. So the topic is um, the last time I went out for some... I guess different ideas, places to go besides the bar. I'm not a particularly a bar person. I'm not a, a big drinker. I, I really, I could totally do without it. I don't need to drink. In fact, I mean, I always feel like I'm, um, when I do go out and you go to a, like a bar or a club or whatever, and around here we just have, um, you know, there's a gay bar and then, um, and there's a couple other places I've been going because during the um, the big C, um, the gay bar wasn't open. So I guess from 2020, I guess for a year after that, um, that didn't open. So I was forced to, if I went to go out, I went to a straight, um, just kind of like a, a beach bar. And um, it was nice. I mean, the people were like uh, unexpectedly friendly, okay? They, they were like, I didn't know what was going to happen. I was a little worried because I'm just going into a regular place. While there were, um, I guess, some people that kind of like looked down on the whole thing I was doing. Um, the majority were like really cool. The uh, staff was really cool with me. And so I liked that. But here's the dilemma. Um, anytime I, I do this, I mean, I love dressing up and I definitely like going out and just getting a little bit of exposure um, as Jess. So what I'll do is, um, you know, I'll go to these places. And the last time I went out, <laughs> I tried to ask to get a drink without alcohol. And again, I don't, I'm, I'm not a drinker. I, you know, if I go there, I feel like I have to. So then I'll just, I'll get like a Roman Coke. And the thing is, the um, the thing with it was like the last place I went, and I actually went to the uh, to the gay club um, on Sunday, and um, it was probably the first time I I tried. To, I think I did try to do this before, but again, I got kind of cross-eyed when I was like, "I said, can I? Get, do you have anything without alcohol? Can I just get a coffee?" And now we're going back a few years now, and the bartender was like, "Oh, you want an Irish coffee?" And I was like, yeah, that sounds good. I had no idea this said, like, more whiskey than <laughs> it was like, I really, I mean, it was, you know, I just wasn't up with, the, you know, what's in these drinks. And it was like, I mean, it tasted good. It was delicious. But it had all this, like, sugary whipped cream and stuff on top. But it, it was, like, super potent as far as alcohol. It's like, this is totally the opposite of what I wanted to do. And he didn't understand. So, but the thing was, I mean, it was good. And it was, you know, like I said, just the one I was just like, I'm done. I can't do this. Um, you know, I can't have any more drinks. But here, here's the thing. Um, anytime I've gone out um, and I had a couple, usually the next day, I, I just, I'm just kind of like pooped. I don't feel like doing anything. And if it's a weekend, um, it's either a Friday night or Saturday night. Sundays, and the reason why I, I, I'm starting to do Sundays now because I feel like it's a little more tamed down a little bit and it's not a whole lot of drinkers. No one's buying drinks, but you know, because don't buy the whole bar a drink. And then it's like, you got a drink in front of you. It's like, well, I don't want to waste it, you know? And um, so what I'm trying to do is like, I, I wish there was a coffee house. Up in the... Um, Near Philadelphia, we had coffee houses that had entertainment and stuff like that. And today, it's like, I, that would be my go-to place. I would go to a place like that. Some of them even have uh, karaoke and stuff like that. But um, around here, it's just it's just like bars and seafood places. And it's like, I'm not, I don't want to go eat. Uh, it's like, I'm not looking to eat food or anything. And it's just like, I just want to go out and mangle, just kind of get, again, just to get some exposure. And... So, you know, I, and I could, I, I just assume that there's people that go into a bar 
and order like a tonic water or something, and that would be fine. Again, charge for the drink, okay? It doesn't matter because I'm not gonna be drinking a whole lot of these tonight. It's just like, I just wanna, you know, be sipping something. And you don't have to tell anybody. I'm like, I'm not going to tell everyone else it's not good to drink. It's like everyone's having fun. I want them to have fun. And I would never spoil that for them to say, well, I'm not drinking because blah, blah, blah. So it's kind of like, it just seemed like it was like strange. So, no, you want to drink, don't you? And I was like, well, no, I don't. And then, like I said, the, the straight places, you know, just the regular, um, the dives. Um, you go there on Saturday night. People are like in a really good mood down here and they'll buy drinks and you don't even know what you're getting. Like they don't even buy what you're drinking. They'll buy whatever they're drinking, a fireball or whatever. And these drinks like, it. and it was, you know, I was like, what the hell, you know, it's like, um, I really don't want to be drinking a lot, but then they're just putting them. <laughs> so it's like, uh, I just need to know how to go about this like that. And I don't want to go into a place like that, like I said, and, uh, like an honor. Give me, give me a um, a Shirley Temple. I'll be fine with a Shirley Temple, and I know that has no, no alcohol. Okay, of course, if you order, I know there's other other drinks that are like super potent. I mean, just for a place to to hang out and do things. Okay, I don't mean going to the store, going to Walmart. Um, the bookstore is always a, a, an option, and I believe it or not, I've seen um, when I was in regular mail mode. Um, and I was in like a uh, Borders, going back a, quite a few years. And, you know, and I remember seeing someone in there like, you know, and she wasn't trying to show off or anything. She was just being herself and everything. And it was much more, less frequent than it's like when you seen a cross-dresser back then, unlike today where it's more accepted, I guess. Some people do, some people don't. At least they understand it's a thing, so. Um, it, it's not such a, uh, um, like they might look down on it like 10 years ago. I remember like the first time they went out, it was like, I was, I was really scared because people would take it the wrong way and it would, cause they're going to wonder why you're doing this. Well, the thing is, and I wasn't calling it transgender. I was calling it, um, you know, I, I'm just wired to be a girl, you know, it's just like, you know, I wasn't calling it. Um, I said, well, I'm a, I'm a cross-dresser, and I think I was even describing myself as a TV, uh, so, which, which I am not. But back then, the, the few girls that I did know, they were calling themselves a TV, which is a transvestite. But I'm, I'm far from it. Today, a transvestite is a much different, um, um, the makeup and everything. It's just like everything's more exaggerated, the extra long. This is the way I kind of see it, but they have the, um, everything's like super, um, um, drama it, it, and it looks good. You know, I'm, I, I love, I love the shows and stuff, but, um, that's not what I do. It's like, I'm not, you know, I don't have to got the, like the extra long eyelashes and everything and, um, whatnot. So, but the thing is, that's what they used to call it then. And it really wasn't, um, it was frowned upon, you know, a lot by most of the people didn't understand and it was just, wow. Well, and that was part of the challenge and I didn't mind, I really didn't mind the challenge. That was what I call, after after a while, it was like the juice going out. The, the, the toughest um, hurdle I had to get over back then was the neighbors because the whole thing was like to get out of the house. Um, without by being seen by anybody you know, and family and whatnot. So, um, you know, what I would do, um, a lot of times I'll, I would just dress up and everything and I would keep the wig in the car and, and then when I got there, and I would even do the makeup when I got to some places, if I knew they, they would let me use, um, you know, um, they, they would have a back room at these places. And I'm not, I'm not even gonna go too, too much into that with these places where, but they they let, they were they were cool about it, so they would let me use a, um, a back room to do uh, you know do makeup or do a, even a bathroom. It was kind of like a um, like a bathroom with table and everything. So they had you know and mirrors and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, I could do my makeup here, and 
But the whole thing was to get past the, the people I knew because I didn't want them to see me dressing up. Like, like is that him? <laughs> it's like, because I wasn't real confident with my look and um, and my makeup wasn't wasn't up to par. It was just like foundation lipstick and and eyeliner, a lot of eyeliner. And um, and I wish I had some pictures back from those real early times. I have them back from um, 10, 12 years ago, but and even them, they're like, the quality of the pictures are terrible because um, they were taken with, um, well, some were actually film pictures, but the, um, the first camera phones were terrible. They weren't like, you know, before 2007, you didn't have a smartphone. That's when they, 2007 is when, uh, you know, Apple came out with the iPhone and then Android came out and whatnot. So before that, you didn't have, you had like a, uh, a little flip phone that might have had a camera. So we were taking pictures with um, two megapixel cameras and stuff like that, but they weren't in the phone. So those ones like the, the quality just kind of like it wasn't working and stuff. So I didn't save a lot of those pictures. So, you know, I thought it was okay at the time, but when I, when I look at the ones from like eight, 10 years ago, the one, the most recent ones, it's just like, wow, look at how I was doing the makeup. And I kind of came like a long way with it. I mean, not perfect, but I'm still always like striving and learning and whatnot. So anyway, um, I know it's late or it's early, depending on how you look at it. It's morning, it's Saturday. And um, this is still considered Friday for me, but I'm getting ready to take off the makeup and um, call it a night. So I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend.